Aloha mai kakoe ka ohana o InterVarsity. I'm Moniki Alana Nadzic and I'm on staff in Hawaii. And I'd like to introduce some of our special guests who will be leading us in our next song of worship, Tsukia Kua, our creator. We are honored to be led by our Dene brothers, our Navajo brothers, also IV staff, Cedric Platero from Tuahajile and Albuquerque, New Mexico, as well as Rashawn Ramon from Torian, New Mexico. We're also blessed to have some of our Kanako Oivi o Hawaii with us, some of our Native Hawaiian family, Titi Lua Frazier from Makawao, Maui, Ivy Alama Fui Pali, as well as Ikaika Mendez from Pukalani, Maui, Ivy student of Fui Pali. When Ivy Live invited Native InterVarsity to be a part of this time of worship, we looked to our Dene Ohana to lead us, and Cedric, in a time of prayer, chose the song Amazing Grace. As he recounted growing up on the res, going to church and tent meetings, this song meant so much to them and their community, even being the first hymn in the Diné hymnal. As I learned of their song choice, I was reminded of the roots of this song. John Newton, a ruthless businessman and slave trader, who also became a Christian, yet still owned slaves, would then become an Anglican priest and in those later years would look back to his former years with horror. Amazing Grace was birthed from a place of recognition and repentance for his own racism and sin, knowing that it was only through Keakua's amazing grace, through Christ alone, that gave him hope. We, as a native Ohana, would like to stand to honor and stand in solidarity with great love with our beloved Black Ohana in this time of turmoil. Therefore, our native Hawaiian family decided also to do amazing grace in our mother tongue. And it is our prayer that all of us will continue to go forward together with Jesus and one another with great humility, asking Holy Spirit to open our eyes to the ways that we might be blind to our own racism and sin, that we will go forward in repentance and humility and with great courage to do justice and love mercy and walk humbly with Kiakua as we receive his amazing grace that comes through our Savior's precious death and resurrection. Lastly, we are touched by the ways that gospel music has enfolded and embraced Amazing Grace as a staple. And we are honored tonight to have our sister Shana LaRoche come and join us. She is going to lead us in the last two verses of Amazing Grace, and we are so grateful. Therefore, Ohana, may we join together to worship Keakua as a family as we celebrate Keakua's Amazing Grace, Mercy, and aloha pau ole, endless love for us all. Mahalo. Oh, my God. 
Grace will lead us home. 